On the block, basically, are the so-called bioresorbable stents. Those are stents which are deployed, which keep the vessel open, but which resorb themselves after some time. Why is this important? Well, simply because we do not want to have too much metal in the coronaries, because metal is always a focus for thrombus formation and ultimately for occlusion of the vessels, and because we have a problem if we want to re-intervene in these vessels because we do not want to put stent in stent. So bioresorbable stents are now being developed and they would now allow us uh, to uh, maybe reduce the rate of restenosis. They would now uh, maybe help us uh, to reduce the anticoagulants we need after implantation of stents. They would permit repeat interventions. We could easily put another stent even if there is a stenosis in a bioresorbable bio stent. And something that is not uh, unimportant, uh, it does not prevent the problem with respect to diagnosing restenosis because it is even, um, uh, it does not uh, prevent artifacts on the CT image. And finally, I just want to focus um, on uh, the last part of the review journal, which will deal with surgery in coronary artery disease. Surgery is not dead. Certainly, we have a number of patients which are now uh, prevented with the help of interventional techniques. But surgery has its place, and uh, the numbers are, in some countries, maybe dropping a bit. But I predict that the, the, the numbers will stay stable, maybe even increase, because what we now have is we have a lot of patients who are not able to be uh, intervened because these interventions are too complex. And we have a lot of patients who are elderly. And this will kind of increase uh, the number of patients. But at the same time, uh, it will make surgery more difficult because we are treating more complex patients. Um, we will be discussing uh, the issue of when should cabbage be performed and when is PCI indicated. Uh, the issue of which complex patients will be uh, operated and how to deal with them and especially also with the topic of repeat surgery which is something that is inevitable if you have um, elderly patients and if you have uh, a, 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 an increasing life expectancy. One trend which is very clear it is a trend towards minimal invasive procedures. It is very uh, clear that if with a smaller scar you have less problems. It is very clear that uh, patients prefer this also for cosmetic reasons, but it's also very clear that it's more difficult to operate if you have a small incision. But still, the developments are coming along, and uh, the results so far are very encouraging, um, and uh, it, uh, the technique can be used both uh, off and on pump. And finally, um, one issue that should also be at least mentioned is that uh, there is even one coronary artery disease has uh, uh, been treated to the end, as one would say, there is still a role for transplantation in so-called end-stage heart failure and uh, there are a number of different transplantation injection uh, strategies which will also be discussed. And finally, uh, one trend which is also clear in cardiovascular surgery is that of assist devices. It is assist devices which support the heart, which are something which could solve a problem of shortage. Remember, transplantation is something that uh, is basically on the downside, at least in Austria. We do not have as many transplants available anymore, and assisted devices will certainly uh, kind of uh, help us solve this problem. And we're now seeing third generation devices, which are now used both as a bridging to transplantation, but sometimes as a destination therapy, meaning that this is the heart that the patient will have until the rest of his life. So, what we now know is that there is a problem with coronary artery disease. Uh, worldwide, there are a number of patients and an increasing number of uh, patients who have the problem. So, we are aware of the problem. We know how to deal with it, how to image it, how to treat it. The next step will now be to bring the information forward, and this is exactly what we're trying to do in this journal of the Hamdan Medical Journal.